Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bronzer declutter. As you can see, I have all of my bronzers laid out here. And there are quite a few in here that I know I'm not going to use or I don't want to anymore or are just not the right color for my skin tone right now. So I thought it was time to do a declutter and my drawer is getting pretty full and disorganized. If you have not subscribed yet, I would love for you to do that. It would mean so much to me. And I'm hoping to do a few more declutters in the future as well. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. And... All right, let's get started. So before I begin, I just wanted to show you what my drawer looked like beforehand. Um, it's overflowing and just bad. So here is a little beforehand of my bronzer drawer. Okay, so this is my highlighter and bronzer drawer and it's a mess and I need to fix it. So today, I shall declutter and I just want to make it so this isn't so disorganized and I'm just throwing things everywhere and I know that there's a few in here that are past their prime and are expired for sure and just others that I know like don't fit my skin color so I'm gonna go through this and this is the before and now on to the actual declutter. So there are quite a few in here that I know that I want to keep and a lot that I want to get rid of as well. So this is like an overview of most of them. There are some on the outer edges as well. It just doesn't fit. And I am 100% like a makeup collector, hoarder, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, so I think I'm going to start off by counting all of them and then we can move on to getting rid of them. Okay, so let's count. I'm gonna move them all to one side and count them. Okay, so I have 23 cream bronzers. I know I'm missing one because I'm not finding my Tower 28 West Coast, but that should be in here so technically 24 bronzers and i don't know where that is i need to find that but i'm for sure keeping that that's like one of my all-time favorite bronzers so 24 cream bronzers look i'm missing a cream bronzer Shit. <laughs> So I actually have 25 cream bronzers. Oh wait, this is cream too, sorry. 26 cream bronzers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38 powder bronzers. Okay, that is a shit ton of bronzers. Let's see how many I can get rid of. I think I'm gonna start with creams because there are a couple that I know that I do not want anymore and are expired. Okay, so these two Physician Formula bronzers are two cream bronzers, and I barely got to use these, but because obviously I have so many, they just got lost in the shuffle, and I have to get rid of these because as you can see, so as you can see, this is extremely textured, and even on the side, you can see it has a bunch of texture and I like don't know what that means. It gives me Jaclyn Hill lipstick vibes and it just creeps me out. So I'm going to get rid of these because they'll most likely break me out and they're most likely expired. So sadly, I will be getting rid of both of these. Actually, not sadly, they're expired and I already have too many bronzers. So, all right, another that I'm going to get rid of is one of these refi bronzers one is just way too light for me I think it's this one yeah it's the shade sand and it's just a little too light for my skin tone 
It like essentially matches my skin tone in the summer and is gonna work for me in the winter time, but I'm just gonna reach for other bronzers instead of this one. So I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. This one's fairly new, so hopefully I can find a friend to give it to. But I'm going to keep the darker shade, which is the shade Tan. This one does work for me and is a really beautiful warm bronzer on my skin tone. So this is the shade Sand and that's the shade Tan. And I'll mention a couple other bronzers because I think I'm going to keep the rest of them. I think the majority of the ones I'm going to get rid of are the powder ones because um, a lot of these are still fairly new and I still want to keep using them. But this is the Phytosurgeon's Spectral Shine in the shade Meteor Mist. This is actually a highlighter, but I love this one as a luminous bronzer. It's just such a pretty shade. It works best, I think, with a brush, but I'll just dip into it and show you what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand. So it just works as like a gorgeous bronzer topper or just a luminous bronze on the skin. These are also really pretty and I like these a lot. These are the Glossier Solar Paints. I have the shades Heat and Ray. I was going to do a video on these but I ended up not. But I've really been liking these. So this is Heat and that one's Ray. So I also wanted to show you these. These are the M Cosmetics bronzers and I love these so much. They're probably my new favorite in my collection. Um, I have the shades Summer and Terra. So this is Summer and this one's Terra. You can see Terra is a lot more cool toned. Um, this one's definitely like a contour shade for me and this one's more of a bronzer shade but I love them both equally. They're gorgeous on the skin and blend amazingly well. I also absolutely love the Tower 28 bronzers. This one is the shade Best Coast and it is like a really warm reddish bronze color on my skin tone. Love this one. So I'm keeping all of these. I am going to be doing a Tower 28 bronzer video for sure. This is the Say bronzer in medium and also a very beautiful warm toned kind of bronzer that's very creamy and delicious and I'm gonna keep the rest of these as well just because um, I love cream bronzers and I can't see any that I want to get rid of right now So I'm just getting rid of three cream bronzers, but I suspected that because I know most of my declutter is going to be in the powder category. So not that exciting for the creams, but I it's fine. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to powder bronzers, and I'm gonna pull a few that are just quite old and I haven't used in a really long time, and I just need to make space for the ones that I really like. So that includes the Too Faced ones. This busted Wet n Wild one. This other Wet n Wild one that's way too shimmery. This ColourPop one. I couldn't get like a lot of payoff out of this one when I first got it and I think I had to scrape the top or something. I don't know. I just haven't used it in a really long time so I'm not going to keep this. Um, I'll show you this one. I This is so old also probably expired. It feels really dry. It's like falling out of its container. This one's way too shimmery. Like in a bad way, you know. This one's busted. So gotta get rid of that. This one's also so old, I really, I need to get rid of this as well. It's like a bronzer, highlighter kind of mix thing. And as you can see, it's mostly too light for me. And is kind of like a highlight, honestly. It smells really good though. 
and the packaging is so cute but I just never use it and I'm pretty sure Too Faced is like transphobic and I'm not about that so gonna get rid of this one. I think I have one more Too Faced one in here that I want to get rid of because I just like don't support this brand anymore after hearing the news about them being transphobic so gonna get rid of this one as well and it's like so old so getting rid of this. I bought this as a bronzer and I just think it's too light for my skin tone. It actually turns out to be deeper on the skin um, and I did use it as like a light bronzer beforehand but now it's just like too light and I don't ever use it. This is a really great powder though. I have the lighter color for under my eyes and just all over my face and it's super good. And the packaging is just kind of like obnoxious because this breaks. As you can see there are cracks in it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I also think I'm going to get rid of this powder bronzer by Bare Minerals. This one is nice. It's just kind of finicky to use and can sometimes be a little patchy because it is a loose powder, but the color is actually really pretty. I don't even know if you, <laughs> you can see that, but... And yeah, it's just a little too finicky to use because it is a loose powder, so I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Here's another Too Faced one that I'm gonna get rid of. I wanted this so bad, it's the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I was gonna pan this, like project pan it, but I just don't want Too Faced in my collection anymore, I think. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this as well. Okay, let's talk about bronzers I actually really like. This is the Patrick Ta bronzer in the shade She's Sculpted. And this is a beautiful bronzer for me. I really, really love this. And it's such a beautiful shade as well. It has a cream and a powder in it that work perfectly for my skin tone. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. I am also project panning this butter bronzer and here's a sneak peek of my pan. I really like this bronzer actually, it's a great color and I'm going to keep this one. I recently got this LYS one from a BoxyCharm and it is so beautiful and I really really like it. Oh, it's doing a weird thing on the camera, I don't know why. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep this one, it's stunning and blends so well, it's really finely milled. So I'm gonna keep this one. I really like this e.l.f. bronzer. It's in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And this is just a great powder bronzer from the drugstore. It's really good for me in the winter time, as you can see, because it's a little light on my, my skin tone. But on the face, it looks great and is like a really great everyday kind of bronzer from the drugstore. I'm gonna keep this Vesca bronzer as well. This is in the shade Deony, Kissed by Deony. And I love this bronzer so much. It always looks really good whenever I use it. I'm like always shocked by how pretty of a bronzer this is. And yeah, I just love this shade and it's just super pretty. I also think I'm going to keep this bronzer by Cover FX. This is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze and it's just really pretty and I feel like I need to use it more. Um, hopefully I will now that I have fewer bronzers to dig through, but gonna keep this one. I'm also gonna keep the Hula bronzer. This is such a classic and I tried it the other day and it's actually so pretty on the skin and in the creases of the eye as well. This is just like the OG shade that they have, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this mini Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This one's really pretty as well and I really like it. Um, it looks deeper on the skin than it does in the pan, but I've already used this quite a few times and really like it. This is also another newer bronzer. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is actually a bronzer that I got from BoxyCharm as well, so I'm going to keep this one since it's fairly new to me. This is a Becca bronzer that I got from BoxyCharm too. It's super pretty and once you blend all the shades together you get this gorgeous warm bronzy shade and it's just like really smooth on the skin and is super pretty. Okay, now I have these three NARS bronzers and I'm not sure what to do with these. I might just get rid of all of them because these two I got from like Marshalls or Ross or something and they just don't have any color payoff when I dig my brush or finger into it or like barely any color payoff. Ugh, I don't know because they just like 
swatched on my finger okay. Like this one has way more color payoff than these ones. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get rid of these two because I just feel like they're way too expired and they do not have good color payoff and it's really hard to get any color payoff, especially on the face. So I'm gonna get rid of these because I haven't used them in forever. And I'll just keep this mini, and if I use this and like it, then I can think about repurchasing it. Okay, let's talk about brand new bronzers that are like essentially unopened. So these four I have not touched. The Marc Jacobs I got because of Tara Brooke. It was on sale on BoxyCharm pop-up or something. I think I literally paid like $12 for this. So I'm going to keep this because I haven't used it yet. I'm going to keep this Well People one because it's brand new like a couple weeks old and have not used this one yet either. I'm going to get rid of this NYC um, bronzer because it's unopened and I don't think I'm going to get much use out of this and I'll just put it in a giveaway basket for family and friends um, since it's brand new. And then I have this Bye Bye Pores bronzer by IT Cosmetics and no one talks about these but I thought I would keep it because it looks really pretty and I want to try it out. I got this when it was on sale at Ulta or something like that so I think I want to keep this and try it. So I kept three of those new ones and I'm getting rid of one. Okay here are the remaining bronzers that I have to go through. Ugh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to keep Bahama Mama Classic. I think I'm finally going to get rid of this Laura Mercier one because I've had it in my collection for way too long and it just needs to go. I got this as a gift from my best friend when she visited Paris like two years ago or something like that. Maybe three now. And it's just like... A classic this is the bronzer everyone oops this is the bronzer everyone loved years and years ago and when she brought it back for me I was so excited so definitely nostalgia and like sentimental reasons for keeping this one but it's fine I already have so many these two wet and wild ones I think I want to keep both of them just so I have a couple drugstore options to pick from in my collection and I think I eventually want to do a full face of Wet n Wild and I would use one of these. So a bunch of people rave about this Milani bronzer and I finally picked it up and it is really smooth and nice and I do think I want to keep this. I think I have to try this on my face a couple more times because I remember it being too light on my skin tone but I just want to try again to double check so I'm going to keep this. This Oma Beauty bronzer is really pretty as well, but as you can see, it's just super shimmery. It's like almost a highlighter, and maybe I should use this as a highlighter. It is really pretty. It's also so creamy, like when you dip your finger in it, it's just so creamy. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this actually. So I paid a pretty penny for this. I did get it on sale, but I wanted this because so many people raved about it. And then they had a really poor shade range. So I don't know how I feel about this. I've only used it like a couple times, but I really wanna use it more and the packaging is so pretty. And I've never used it on camera, but I do think I'm gonna keep this um, because I did pay quite a bit of money for this and it's, really beautiful packaging. I think I'm gonna keep it. This is the Revlon Skin Lights. It is a drugstore bronzer that a lot of people have talked about so I picked it up and it is really pretty. I've barely used it on my face though. I really need to try it out a little bit more. I feel like bronzer is super hard to swatch and show what it looks like because they look very different on the face than swatched. Anyway, I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm going to keep this Bare Minerals one as well because it's a mini and it'll be nice if I ever do a full face. And then this Chanel one was gifted to me by a friend. It has a bronzer and a highlighter in it. I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, so these are all the bronzers I'm getting rid of and these are all the ones I'm keeping. I'm getting rid of... Okay. 
So I'm getting rid of 17 bronzers and I'm keeping the rest. 47 so I've gotten rid of 25% and I know that's not good in general and I still have way too many bronzers but that's what I feel comfortable with at the moment and anyone else who has low-key hoarder issues can understand that it's just like hard to get rid of things um, but I feel like 25% is definitely gonna make my bronzer drawer and highlighter drawer look a lot better and make me feel a lot better so I'll definitely work on these in the future and try them out and decide which ones I should still keep or get rid of, um, but I feel really good about getting rid of all of these. So this is the before. Alright, so this is what my drawer looks like afterwards. Now I just got to work on my highlighters, but looks so much better now. So that was everything. Thank you so much for joining me in this process of trying to get rid of bronzers. I would love to know which bronzers are your favorite and if you also have difficulties getting rid of things like myself. Um, it truly is a struggle for me and I'm really trying to work on it this coming year. Um, and just try and work on being not a hoarder. You feel me? But yeah, thanks again for joining me on this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too disappointing. But um, yeah, I hope you have a really good day or evening wherever you are. And thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!